it's becoming harder to define the business your company is in. This is making it imperative to clarify and differentiate yourself. You need to clarify your brand. My name is Catherine Gahu, and I've spent many years researching and speaking on the drivers of customer satisfaction. The connected customers are not easily influenced by marketing campaigns. They also do not listen to authority and experts very well. The traditional advertisements where you had authority figures advising the customer about what to take, how to use products, they are no longer favorites. The millennials say that some brands, like some of their parents and politicians, are talking at them, not with them, and they are not listening. So if you want to connect with your customer, you must understand how to engage them at their point of understanding. To succeed, you need to find them where they are and to communicate in their own language. To do this, you need to collaborate with them. They need to show you how to navigate their world. Otherwise, you will be left stranded wondering what happened to my customer. With that said, we also recognize that it's difficult to hide service failures or insulate customer complaints in this transparent digital world. Brands are therefore called to be authentic, to be honest about the happenings in their organizations. Be genuine with your customers. Be true to yourself. Brands should seek to understand and clarify their authentic character, not fake, in order to build credibility and build reputation. You can't afford to be fake. Brands should be honest when things do not go according to plan. They should seek to address the issue promptly. When a brand is open about the issues that it's facing and openly apologizes honestly to the customers, the customers will begin to trust that brand, the customers will be willing to forgive. We have seen brands that have faced major challenges, even brands that have had situation of complete breakdown of service where they cannot deliver what customers expect, yet they provide a very important service. But when they are able to come out and tell the customer, this is what is happening. We are working on it. And then when they are done, they give the customer a kind of a token of appreciation by allowing them to use a service for free and to apologize and demonstrate complete concern. Customers are quite willing to forgive them. The question I have for you, will your brand be forgiven when it makes a mistake? When you are forgiven, it means that the relationship you build with customers is a relationship of trust. Some of the brands in the marketplace are operating in vulnerable relationships of trust. That is a challenge when you make a mistake because it will be difficult to be forgiven. You need to clarify customer expectations. This is important because what you deliver should match the value that you receive from the other party. Be sure to understand what is the real expectation of the customer. What makes for value in what you offer? What really do they consider to be the most important aspects of your product? Remember, these are derived from the promises you have made, as well as from the communications that you have done, and from social circles, because in these days of the connected customer, messages move from person to person very quickly. The second thing you need to do is to demonstrate consistency in your brand values, in your beliefs, in your behavior. There must be a consistent delivery. The third thing is to be intentional. When your intention is perceived to be genuine, people will gravitate naturally towards your brand. The fourth thing is to ensure mutual benefit. Whatever you pursue should deliver benefits to both sides. It should not be a one-sided affair. You give and the customer gives. You must ensure that you deliver mutually beneficial exchange between you and the customer because the relationship of buying from you is a social exchange process. The customer will buy, they will use, they will enjoy and celebrate value and then they are going to spread positive word of mouth advertising for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you've learned something of Vario, do two things. One, press the subscribe button on your screen and act on one of the lessons that you have learned. 
take the first step and see how you build momentum to move forward and reach where you want to go. Before I close, I have one question for you. What one action will you take in the next few days to find your edge? Thank you very much and best wishes as you work to find your edge. <laughs>